Hey, I'm Alex here from LearnCube, and today we're here with Kellen, an experienced teacher. Uh, actually, Kellen, how many years have you been teaching online? So I've been teaching online for over six years, and I've been using LearnCube for about two and a half years. So with the copy and paste feature, basically the issue is to find a way to have material that's accessible by both the student and the teacher and is able to be manipulated and edited. And um, I use the copy and paste feature a lot with students who send me something in an email, usually during the class or right before the class, and uh, when I don't have the time to put it onto a PDF and upload it, I use this feature. It's very useful in, in that situation. Just to go back on one step though, why wouldn't I just use the classic screen share feature? Well, an issue with the screen share feature might be that uh, if you have some sensitive information in your emails or oh, other awesome, emails. Because you're actually, you're actually recording the entire screen, so all of your emails. Exactly. Are, that could look a little bit unprofessional, I guess. Definitely. That's one, that's one reason. And uh, the yeah. second reason is because the annotation features with the copy and paste are much more convenient and easier to use. And with something pasted onto the whiteboard here, I can easily send it to the student afterwards while with screen share, I would have to do screenshots of what I'm doing uh, and, then, yes. and then create a file and then send it to the student. So I find this to be the, the easiest way to share uh, information and data and materials in that situation. Let's say the class has begun, you're the student, and you say, oh, Kellen, sorry, I didn't send you the email earlier. I was busy. I've just sent it now. Okay, so I don't really have the time to make okay. a file. I don't want to waste time with the student. So what I'll do is I'll go into the email. Here it is. Okay. And I will use a snippet tool to copy and paste it. This should be coming up in any seconds. Yep, and here it is. Ah, yes, I see. Okay, oh, so wow. now we have... Now we have it right here. That's really clever. Thank you so much for that, Kellen. Um, I'm sure a lot of us will, will use this tool a lot more often, and it's just interesting how some of these simple tools, once they're, once they're well used, make a big difference to a lesson. Thanks Absolutely. again, Kellen. My pleasure. Thank you.